What's up? I'm Yorutsi, and today I'm going to teach you how to edit intro templates. And I'm speaking about most of them because uh, some of them are made in Adobe After Effects only, some of them are made in Autodesk Maya, and some of them are made in uh, Blender. And there are other programs that I don't know about. So, yeah, I'll be making this tutorial on the intro template for the DS9 because uh, most of them, yeah. Most intros made in Cinema 4D uh, have the same editing process. So yeah, open the C4D part first. Always the C4D part first because if you open the AE part, uh, you won't have. You will have just the FX with the background, not the text. So you need the C4D part first. Uh, let's uh, close this for now. Okay, um... It starts. It should start in any moment. Okay, here we are. In, uh, yeah. The first thing you will need to do is to change the frame you are in. So, drag this green box over here from the timeline in the frame where you can see your whole text because some intros will start in the moment where you cannot see your text you see something like this and uh, that's not nice when you want to edit the text so yeah move it in a frame where you can see your whole text so yeah this is for me well after you can see your text you want to change the Whatever text is here, you can see in my case, name, your name, or whatever. Just search for something called text here, or edit this, or change name. I uh, think it should usually be in a no object placed, or if it's not, just uh, with this green key thing. So I just uh, extend this no object with the text and uh, change the change name in my case yeah per change per per select the first text because there are two texts one is red and one is silver so yeah change it to whatever you want like for me name uh, oops I screwed up with caps lock with caps lock again name for my case uh, let's use caps because here we okay by the way, this in this case it won't change the text. And why? Because uh, we have linked the new object with the text. But in other intros, it will work most likely for sure. So I yeah, just make sure to press on the text and go to object and try to change the text. If it doesn't uh, change, you send it goes back to its initial state. Press on this thing, null object text. And you will have something like this edit, edit here, for example. Anyways, you will have something where you can edit your text, so make sure to check all those. Basic, in no case, it will be that one. So, yeah, in my case, it edit and uh, change the text from this little, little text box here to whatever you want. Let's uh, say name. Name. Okay, and uh, this is how it looks. You can change the font here if you want it as well. If you want to change the font and if you don't need to press on this thing, uh, you can have here at object font and you can call it whatever you want. Let's get back to new. I like new. Well, with some uh, names it looks cool and with some looks not so cool, but yeah, you know. So yeah, after you have changed uh, the text with your name, you will want to render this, so you may uh, use the Adobe After Effects part for the effects. So yeah, press on this little box here with uh, this, like, I don't know how to call this thing. So yeah, press on it, go to the save, don't, don't change anything at output because you will screw up the intro. So go to save and uh, select an output location 
and be sure that the output location will be a folder always a folder why because uh, when you render in, in intro in cinema 4d it will make it in uh, frames and I'm sh quite sure you won't like to have on your desktop 300 PNG frames so yeah, make sure it will be a folder that you made for your frames and press save close this thing and then press on the render button render to picture viewer press on it and it will start rendering can zoom out to see how it looks it will take a while so yeah just go and do something else Will it end? Uh, in my case I did something and I don't want to wait till this thing uh, edits renders sorry sorry I'm quite sleepy I guess so yeah, after you have uh, rendered the intro in uh, C4D uh, make sure to open the Adobe After Effects part in my case I've messed up with this one I have made an intro that I'm preparing to upload on YouTube uh, but I will upload it after I do something more at it okay just wait till the Adobe After Effects will start Okay, here we are. Don't mind this Windows and me. Window, it's not Windows. Yeah. So you will have this thing. If it appears with this thing red here, just make sure to unlock the caps lock. And you have this. In your case, it won't show the text. Well, that's what I guess. Uh, in some intros, it will show it, but uh, not the text that you want. It will show other text like the first preview text, like your name or name. Yeah, the render that uh, that guy made it. So yeah, if you don't, if you have, which way, which case you have doesn't matter. Uh, just search for something called intro. That is a PNG file. It will have this thing here 000 to 300 or 000 to 215. It will be kind of the same, just make sure to check all those folders and see which one is uh, this one. So, yeah, when you have found it, just right click on it and go to the replace footage and go to file. So, yeah, now you will select the file. The, um, the folder where you have the save where you have rendered the intro and you will select all the frames just oh. don't mind that okay so uh, yeah uh, search for the folder where you have saved your intros um, and make sure to select all the PNG frames like this and then check PNG sequence make sure to check this thing because if you don't it will import only a single frame and uh, yeah that's not very nice so yeah press on import and you will have here this is the timeline in Adobe After Effects if you drag it you will see the intro how it runs you can run a, render, a preview render here it calls it RAM preview uh, render, uh, I have no idea what A should mean. Render, uh, auto, I, I have no idea what RAM preview mean. Well, I, I, well, just don't mind me, I'm kinda sleepy right now. So, yeah, uh, then after you have rent, after you, 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 uh, okay, sleepy at. 11 a.m. That's unusual, I guess. Don't mind me and just uh, search for the composition where you have your whole intro. Because if you see here, you have more than one composition. You have like two. This one is just a preview. 
my case is background only but you don't need to render only the background you want to render the whole intro so yeah this, this can get Okay, yeah, sorry for that. My recording program is uh, in the trial version, so yeah, I can record only up to 10 seconds. Oh, what 10 seconds? 10 minutes. And yeah. Okay, let's get back here. Uh, select this the composition where you have the whole intro with the text and things. It will be called something like templates for the points for the or render this for. Uh, Render this thing. Anyways, you will get to see. It, it should be the first uh, composition that appears here, I guess. So yeah, just make sure to select it here, not here. Here it won't do anything. Yeah, just select it here. Go to composition and add to render quacky. Quacky. I think I'm pronouncing it right. I hope at least. So yeah, delete the previous one if you have something like that and you will have this new one. Uh, select the output location, uh, whatever you want, let's say on desktop and uh, then press render. After you render this thing, it will have a huge amount of memory like 1 gigabyte or 2, depends on the resolution, frame rate and other stuff of the intro. And that's not very nice, so if you want to reduce the memory of the intro, just re-render the intro in another program or use the Adobe Media Encoder Quick Key if you have it installed in your PC. Just press on this thing and uh, yeah, have fun in Adobe Media Encoder Quick Key. It's not really hard, you will have your green triangle. If you press it, it will render with a very long memory like one or two mega bytes so yeah well that was for today guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to be up to date with uh, what i'm doing and uh yeah i would appreciate if you would uh, press that like button just smash it so i mean it <coughs> so i may know that my work is appreciated uh so yeah Thanks for watching and see you next time.